Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S2, all versions. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root the Samsung Galaxy S2 procedure. So if you haven't, click on that link there to be taken to that procedure, complete that procedure, and then you can come back to this one. Okay, next head to our ROM section, because you need to pick a ROM that you want to load. And then search for your device. So in this case, it's a Samsung. And it is the Galaxy S2. And then choose one of the ROMs you want to load. Click on the download link to be taken to the developer's page. Click on the download link. Click skip add. And download the file. Then we're gonna plug the device in via USB. Pull down the notification, tap on the USB connected and hit connect USB storage so we can transfer files to the phone. Okay, the device's SD card will show up on your computer, and we're gonna take the zip file that we just downloaded, and we're gonna copy that over to the root of the SD card, that means on the SD card, but not inside any folders. So it'll just be removable disk, or in this case, no name, and then the .zip file will be there. Do not extract the .zip file, leave it as a zip. Okay, after the ROM transfers to the device, we can disconnect the storage and unplug the device. And then we're gonna turn it off. Okay, once the device is off, we're going to hold down the volume up and volume down button at the same time and then tap the power button and hold it till it vibrates. When it does, let go of the power button, but keep holding the volume up and down. Until we get this recovery screen. Use the volume buttons to, to uh, scroll and the power button to select. We're gonna scroll down to backup and restore. And then we're gonna hit backup. Uh, and this will take a while, but we want to do this to make sure that in the rare case that something does go wrong, we can always resort back to our current setup. Okay, and then once it says backup complete, we can now scroll down to wipe data factory reset, push that. Wait for it to do that. And now install zip from SD. Choose zip from SD, and we're going to choose the ROM file that we put on the device. Hit yes, and wait for it to install. Okay, once it's finished flashing, it'll say install from SD card complete. You can scroll to go back, and then reboot system now. Okay, and once the device reboots, uh, you go through your normal setup process, and you're at your new custom ROM. Uh, in order to change the custom ROM to a different one, simply just repeat this process and choose a different ROM uh, to download from our ROM section and uh, follow the steps pretty much exactly the same. Enjoy.